So, um, guys, this is future me. Um, the recording at the beginning and the end just got scuffed, so I believe the la the first season was cut out, and then the last season was cut out. So, we have the first season draft, and then like the last season Super Bowl. So, uh, I hope you guys still enjoy this video, and hope you enjoy. I can't get anything in return, so we'll just pick it number three overall. And I think the move at number six is going to be Camp Kelly. Oh, I really want those other players. I think right here we got to go with our franchise QB and Colt Woodard out of Oregon. Only 22 years old, ran really fast, great attributes, only mid-first rounder. But, ooh, ooh, 74 normal. I mean, 84 speed is pretty good, but, ah. Uh, not the best pick in the world. But I think our next pick will be the best pick in the world. Uh, this guy, this middle linebacker here, Cam Kelly, just looks unbelievable. We're going to take him here. 78 overall, number one in the class. He is pretty insane. I mean, doesn't really have a feel for coverage all that well, but he does everything else really well. I I want to trade up. I'm going to make a move up. I try to trade up, but both players are now gone. Uh, I don't know if these players that I want are going to go at the top of the second round or not. Probably will, but I just have to make sure I'll get all of them. Oh, Mike. Higgins, I'm not going to get. I'm going to have to move up to, like, pick 28, probably. How even higher? Larry Leslie, I think I'll get a top of. And then the other guy, I can probably get at pick 7. So, pick 3 in the second round is expendable. I got to make a move. I moved up, and it didn't take that much. Just a third round next, and a fourth round this. And it makes me a move up. Uh, so, I mean, I like that trade. I didn't think it would be that easy. Maybe I gave up too much, but I don't really care. Where is he? Right here. Mike Higgins. Oh, he's supposed to go late. late. Uh, silly me, I thought. 25 pick. I don't, I don't know what I was doing. But Mike Higgins is a pick here. 76 rated of normal. It's not too bad of a player. Uh, 85 tackle, pretty good. Doesn't have a feel in coverage, just like the other guy. But uh, we will be sending to the top of the second round, where I will be taking um, an edge guy, I believe. Yeah, power rusher off the edge. I mean, looks very good. Larry Leslie out of Notre Dame. 77 overall, number two in the class. 85 power moves, doesn't speed rush at all, but we got a really good player. And then we will also be picking a few picks later. I will be taking a defense tackle, so I didn't really need a defense tackle top of the at the first in the first round. His name is Carlos Rayford out of Ole Miss. 40 reps on the bench, six foot five. This is your typical nose tackle, and he is a 76 rated normal dev. Uh, not too shabby of a pick here, and that will end our first draft. This is a team ending in season number, technically number one, but number two. Uh, we have a 60 overall team. I think we could definitely win a game or two. We have we don't have much of an O-line or strong safety or tight end but we have other positions kind of filled so I mean I definitely think we could win a game I think that's very doable but who knows let's him to the midseason mark here we are at the midseason mark and we actually won a game uh, very good, 22nd best offense, and our QB is actually doing some stuff. Uh, we don't even have the worst things in the world. 
And we're 62 overall. We got to improve in some categories, but I'm overall very proud of this team. We have no players to resign. Just playing weird, but uh, let's sim the playoffs. So here we are at the playoffs, which we did not make, but we won two games and should have the first pick again. Uh, overall, great stuff in my opinion. Losses. Yeah, we have the first pick in the draft again, and we got two wins out of it. So overall, very happy with that. Our rookie QB, 26 last offense. Rookie QB was okay, but the lackluster line that's going to happen. But the worst defense in the league, 30th in points scored, and 32nd in points allowed. We got to get better players as well. But Colt Woodard, as a rookie, was pretty decent. Uh, currently a 76 overall, but he's playing down due to morale. We got to get him a better team. Rushing, I don't even know how Kamara had these numbers with what type of an O-line he had. He was fantastic. Colt Woodard honestly wasn't too bad. Geo Swaim as a fullback. I didn't sign him. CPC signed him. Zach Pascal, though, in the slot with a pretty good year. Uh, Anthony Fersker, the TCPU sign to play tight end. He was pretty decent. Same deal with Curtis Samuel, but numbers aren't all that good. But defensively, Cam Kelly, the rookie with 129 tackles. Great stuff from him as he has superstar dev. I love to see it. Three picks for him as well and 106 tackles for the other rookie, Higgins. Not much pressure, but I wasn't expecting that. We didn't have a good D-line. Five picks, though, for Chad Obi-Awuzi. Three for Cam Kelly. Two for Rashawn Golden. I don't know if he played for our team, but... Uh, I, we're not going to win any awards, but we did very good this season, considering how bad we were. But I'm going to check out the awards anyway. See what's happening around there. Aaron Rodgers wins MVP. I mean, no Dolphins, but, like, we're not really the Dolphins. We're zero overall team. Ryan Tano wins the AFC Offense Player of the Year. Defense Player of the Year, J.J. Watt. Uh, Cam Kelly and Chad Obi-Awuzie both finish up there. Good stuff, guys. And Colt Woodard, the rookie, wins Offense Rookie of the Year. I love to see it. Hopefully he'll get started up. And Defense Rookie of the Year, Cam Kelly. Larry Leslie, Mike Higgins, both up there as well. Carlos Rayford, Christian Mayer, who the CPU drafted. Oh, my. We are dominating, like, for being bad. We're 65 overall. Let's head to the offseason week. There are only two dev increases. Anthony Fersker goes up to start dev. And our rookie middle linebacker, Cam Kelly, Superstar X Factor. He's just a monster. So, Eagles beat the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. I'm not going to bring back Anthony Fersker. I looked into it. I'm just not going to. But here we are in free agency. I think this could be the free agency where it turns our team from bad to good, potentially. There's something there. Uh, so, let's go sign some players. I'm going to run out of money, but I don't care. We're going after a ton more players. If we could get them, I think our team would turn into like a 73 to like an 85 probably. <laughs> Which would be pretty insane, honestly. We get Jonathan Allen, Derek Barnett, Orlando Brown Jr., and Fred Warner. So we now have an 85 rated defense. 4-3 uh, is going to be the move for sure. As, uh, yeah. We honestly have too many guys. I didn't need to sign all of them, honestly. Uh, Higgins. Where did the Higgins guy go? Oh, he's right there. Right outside linebacker. We might... Do I just move one of our linebackers to safety? I mean, Fred Warner's the only one that can cover a thing. He's really good at in doing so. The 84... I mean, that's not great coverage, to be completely honest. I, uh, 
Wait, I do need all these D-linemen. 4-3, yeah. 4-3 is going to be the move, for sure. So, I don't need anyone in the front seven. I'm still going after more guys. That I hope I can bring in, like, Jair, Mike McGlinchey. Like, all these guys are on offense. My offense is currently a 72, which is really just O-line factoring in, honestly. David, they all accept. Let's go. 89 rated defense. Seems good. Uh, as we have three corners, I really just need another safety, and that's it. So, we are looking very good. Oh, no, wait, I still have five D linemen. I mean, he could just probably rotate in as a run stopper, honestly. I don't know. Colt Woodard in a fourth gets me number 19 overall, so um, there's that. I'm also going to try to trade one of our defensive tackles for anyone, just because uh, there he is, Carlos Rayford. Uh, I just feel like he's not really playing that big of a role right now. 24 years old, Larry Leslie's only 22 with star, so... Uh, this guy's 78 normal, 24. I'm just going to trade him in a crowded DT depth chart. This is the team heading into the third season. Well, third season? Yeah, that sounds about right. I think we could definitely win a few games as uh, the O-line still needs work, but the rest of our team is basically complete. Uh, these are how specialists will look. Playing John Ross is my second wideout. I think I might switch back, actually, because otherwise, because the slot receiver dominates is, like, the second receiver for whatever reason, but hopefully my team does good. See you guys at the midseason mark. I don't want to resign any of those players in there, but at the midseason mark, we're three and four. We can still easily win our division, I'd say. Nate Cunningham's leading the league in passing yards. The defense, though. I think it's hard to tell right now. 24th in points scored. I think the stats are weird, but honestly, 3 and 4 at the midseason mark, not too bad. We just got to pull out some closer game wins or something. I don't know. We made the playoffs going 9 and 7, winning our division. As those three players still on our team. The only three zero raw players are still on our team. But I love to see it. I kind of want to see what that rookie QB's dev is. I just will be curious. No way. Nate Cunningham. Superstar X Factor. I made the right decision. Let's give him Bazook. Because it. No, I want Pro Reads. Uh, you know, but, uh, ah, man, that is great, and it feels great. The defense coming along nicely as the safety head star, but I'm okay with that. I mean, but the Bengals, probably going to be a tough task. Let's start out the stats. Ninth best offense. He, Nate Cunningham threw for a decent bit of yards. Didn't really throw the touchdowns you like to see, but he's a rookie, very good rookie year. 19th defense. 19th and points scored. Zach Pascal, though, was a dominant force as Nate Cunningham with an overall, I'd say, very solid rookie season. Almost broke the record for rookie passing touchdowns, but threw for a decent bit of yards. Didn't break that record either. Uh, Alvin Kamara, though, popped off again behind a lackluster offensive line. Receiving. Zach Pascal was very good. 
Curtis Samuel got involved. David Njoku, John Ross, John Ross, no touchdowns. Just casually has no touchdowns. Defensively, Fred Warner was very had a great season. Sacks. We're just we don't have an elite player rushing the passer. Three picks for Warner, Alexander, and Owusier. One for Grenard and Wolford. That's literally like eleven picks the entire year. That's kind of bad. Russell Wilson was MVP. Uh, no, our guy, I forget his name. AFC Adams, Baker your Baker Mayfield. Uh, uh, Nate Cunningham, though, finishes number eight. Even spider your John Brown. Fred Warner, five. And your novice streak of the year is Nate Cunningham. Love to see it. Even streak of the year is Christopher Jennings. John Jackson at three, Tyrone Grenard at four. But overall, we had a very, very good season. Hopefully, we can beat the Bengals in the wild card round. And consider we're really only in like season two. Season one, like, didn't really count, I'd say. And we beat the Bengals. Let's go. Uh, still no players upgrade. I need to cut them, actually, but uh, hopefully we can beat the Titans. And we score 52 points against the Titans. Wow. And not only the Browns stand in our way from a Super Bowl appearance. And we win. The zero overall team is in the Super Bowl in just three seasons. Wow. Let's check out some dev increases. Hopefully we'll see some. I'm hoping for... A potential guy like Zach Pascal. That would be insane if we, the loading screen is staying forever. And Zach Pascal, I am correct, is up to Superstar X Factor. Defensively, Derek Barnett gets Superstar Dev. I love to see that. No other Dev increases to my knowledge, but we are looking very good. Let's hop in against Giants. Talk about a great Super Bowl game. Back and forth game, 23-20, as we have to hop in here. Uh, this is not going to end well. I can tell you that for free. Cunningham has a superstar under his body, which kind of hate, honestly. Oh, hit as he threw. Uh, not a good game. Was that my fault? No. Not really. Got hit as I threw the football. Giants are going to win the Super Bowl. Man, that sucks. But it's only really season number two, I'd say, personally. So we have plenty more seasons to do great things. These are going to be the players that I'm going to try to sign. Signing Devin Bush and Jamel Dean to make my team just better, I guess. I don't know. As we get all three. So, my defense is turning into an absolute juggernaut. I'm literally signing these guys to just make my team great. Jamel Dean, you know, we have backups now. Uh, Devin Bush is going to move to left outside linebacker where we have Higgins. Who's good, but uh, we just need great, I would say. So, uh. Honestly, we could probably sign more guys. Mitchell Schwartz, wait, did he not sign? Wait, did I just read that wrong? Did he reject? Yeah, oh man. That's the player that we needed and we didn't get him. Let's go to the draft. Uh, a first rounder next year, which is number one overall for some reason, and a fourth rounder this year. Gets me to move up to number four. I don't even know why my first round pick next year is so high, but well, it is because we will be taking a center here, Roger Hendricks. We need to fix our line. Our QB got hit in the Super Bowl. That's why we lost that game. Six foot five, three twelve, thirty four reps on the bench. Great top skills. Seventy six overall. Star better dev. Just looks insane of a player. I don't know if I'm going to get the other guy I want at 31, though. I might have to trade up again, which is going to probably suck. 
Uh, when is he supposed to go? I mean, I don't see him. So, he's supposed to go in second. He should be available. He's supposed to go at pick 50. I think he should be available at pick 31. So, we'll probably take him, and then that'll end the draft. We still have a second-round pick, though, which we could do some damage with. Uh, but I gotta take a center here by the name of Kevin Sexton out of Iowa. 76 normal. We have our 501 starters in McGlinchey, Orlando Brown Jr., the guy that we drafted last year, and the two guys that we drafted this year. I'm gonna look around for a player to draft in at number, uh, 31, plus, whatever, 63 or something. Okay, I didn't even know this guy was a thing, and Juan Carter looks unreal. Ran 4-4-8 as a linebacker. Only late first round talent says, but I disagree. 73 normal. We could move him to outside linebacker. He'd be better. 91 speed. Again, doesn't have a feel for coverage or uh, stopping the run, really. But his coverage doesn't block shed well. What type of linebacker is that, then? I, I really don't know, but that will end the draft. Alright, so this is a team. I'm going to do one more season after this. So, I mean, we have a really good team. We made it from a 0 overall to an 89 overall in four seasons. That's crazy, but we I want to do four seasons of actually playing. So, see you guys at the mid-season mark. At the mid-season mark, we're 5-2. Pretty good record, I'd say. You know, should be at, like, top of the league in most categories. So, doing good. Uh, no players to resign still. So, we're just going to head to the playoffs. So, uh, we make the playoffs. Going 12-4, and four, winning our division to us. 20 skill points. That can't be used because it's too low for an overall. 12-4 and four is our record, like I said. And Nate Cunningham dominated as a soft, as like the second-year player. Defense, though, just about middle of the pack. Fifth in points scored. Pascal was good, again, just because he's dominant always. Cunningham with an MVP-like season as a 90 overall in just his second season as a 20-year, 3-year-old. Wow. Alan Kamara still putting up great numbers, but honestly, probably his worst season yet with us, which is crazy to say. Receiving, Zach Pascal was unbelievable. <laughs> he doesn't even have that good speed. So he's really just a slot receiver. That's it. Uh, nice upgrade is deep route running. Uh, David Njoku, pretty good year. Same deal with Curtis Samuel. John Ross ends up scoring nine touchdowns, though. Different from scoring zero, I'd say. Fred Warner with a pretty good year, I'd say. We're still not getting any pressure, it seems. Eight and a half sacks is our most from Larry Leslie. But, you know, we're just getting solid sack numbers. We don't have that dominant edge. Five picks for Marcus Williams, three for Fred Warner, th three for Jair Alexander, two for Jamel Dean, one for Bush and Grenard. Uh, pretty good year. Yearly awards, Russell Wilson wins MVP. Cunningham finishes up there number three. Second year player, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, see how it's been here. Patrick Mahomes, Cunningham at three. I mean, Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson both won it as, like, second year players too. But, you know what I mean? Uh, Fred Warner finishes at nine for defense play of the year. Ivan Shabir, Tyrion Carroll. Uh, Tyrion, I don't know. Joe Smith, whoever he is at three. Uh... I didn't mean to do that. Defensive gear, Eric Bullock. No Dolphins. Best QB, though. Cunningham finished at number three. Love to see it. Let's hopefully beat the Patriots, though. In the wild card round. They only went 9-7. Just destroy them, please. We beat them by a touchdown. Titans stand our way. They also went 12-4. and four. Please, home field advantage. We win again. And now the Ravens stand in our way. 11-5 Ravens. And we demolish them as we appear in another Super Bowl, this time against the Dallas Cowboys. We currently have a 92 overall. I don't know if we'll see any dev increases. 
as our team is just playing up so high with morale. Uh, Devin Bush gets superstar dev. Love to see that. Uh, just, we're dominating. Team's good. We're still going to do another season after this, like I said, but what do I even improve on? Nothing. Yeah. Like, I keep trying to upgrade these players, but just saying no. Let's hop in here against the Cowboys. This is looking like it's going to be a Super Bowl victory, and it is. 27-24 is your final score as the zero overall team is Super Bowl champions. Uh, still have another season left, so uh, we're not done yet. We can go still try to win another Super Bowl with this juggernaut that we built. I mean, we can't upgrade the players, but let's get even better players with free agency.